Our university sets out to be a catalyst for individual and regional prosperity and pride with national and international relevance, reach and impact. Working in partnership to develop our region talent and capability. Attracting new talent into our region to study, work and live. Raising aspirations and educational attainment and contributing to the social, cultural and economic well-being and prosperity of our communities. And as 2019 draws to a close, it provides us with a timely opportunity to reflect on our progress and our impact. And importantly, to thank you all for your continued hard work and support. 12 years on, 33,000 students have graduated from our university, entering into professions ranging from education, nursing and allied health, the arts, science, environment, business, law and policing. Graduates who impact on individuals, place, communities and economy. Graduates who help to bring life, shape lives, save lives, Graduates who support people at their most vulnerable, protect us and risk their lives for others. Graduates who drive our businesses, industry and economy. Graduates who care for and protect our environment and landscapes and those who make their living from it. And graduates who entertain us, inspire us, stimulate our thinking and encourage us to explore new ideas. Graduates who inspire our children and future generations to achieve their potential, to aim high, to be confident and to succeed. This year we've extended our portfolio, capitalising on place, our locations, region and employer needs, including upskilling and reskilling as well as on-campus provision. This has included the growth of apprenticeship provision in areas spanning policing, paramedic practice, nursing, social care and project management. The growth in our London offer in business, health as well as education. Working with Cumbria's visitor economy and LEP to develop new provision. A new MA in literature at our Ambleside campus and developing new provision to meet digital skills needs here in the county, borderlands and further afield. Our academic reputation and research base has grown. We've gained research degree awarding powers. We've been named among the nation's lifesavers for our work into male domestic abuse. We've secured £2 million from Heritage Lottery Fund to support species reintroduction in the Morecambe Bay. Diane Cox became president of the Royal Society of Occupational Therapists and we began research into approaches for the early diagnosis of cancer. Our collaborations and employer partnerships are expanding, working in Barrow to address higher education skills needs, with BAE, BBC, NHS Ambulance Trusts and police forces across the country, We've entered into a strategic partnership with Lancaster University to support our regional roles and impact. Our contribution to place and communities is supporting our region's future prosperity and pride. Hosting the Children's Climate Change Conference, playing a key role in the first UK conference of its kind for care leavers and providing new STEM outreach opportunities for children across Cumbria. We supported Cumbria Local Enterprise Partnership to deliver the Local Industrial Strategy. We've launched our new Institutes of Health and Business Industry and Leadership, with Jackie Arnold named on the Northern Powerhouse list of influential women. We've announced our ambition as part of the Borderlands Growth Deal Initiative to establish a new city centre campus in Carlisle. And we hosted our Chancellor to undertake a two-day tour of Cumbria giving our young people the opportunity to have their voices heard at our Today's Youth, Tomorrow's Future conference. Our national and international relevance and reach is extending, as is our reputation. 
hosting BBC Radio 4, Any Questions, the Chief Nursing Officer, Japanese artist Junko Mizuno, the German Nursing Association and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Our About Future, Being and Hello Future initiatives were shortlisted for awards. Professor Lois Mansfield gained a Churchill Fellowship spending time in Japan with only 150 such fellowships awarded in the UK each year. We've appointed new professors of practice in the visitor economy, entrepreneurship and rural economy, received an Ofsted good outcome for our apprenticeship provision. And importantly and very significantly, we were rated 28th out of over 130 higher education institutes in the What Uni Student Informed Survey. 2019 has been a great year for our university and whatever role you play as part of our University of Cumbria team and community, I hope like me you feel proud of who we are, what we do and why and that you look forward to the year ahead and our future successes and impact. Thank you.